Hey guys, I'm Chris. Thanks a lot for checking out my Alibi Ranch YouTube channel. So over the last couple of weeks and months, I've posted a lot of different videos and no, I'm not at the ranch right now. I'm actually in my garage in my North Georgia home. So I wanted to piece this portion of the video at the very beginning because I'm getting ready to head south down to the Alibi. And uh, it's been a busy week. I've had a lot of packages delivered uh, to finally complete the installation of my solar array. Now, in the last couple of videos, you've seen a lot of uh, wins and losses with the foundation, uh, the original foundation crumbling because of me not doing the concrete properly, and then a big win in getting the second uh, pillar of concrete in the ground and successfully um, getting the U-bolt on and the I-beam along with the uh, truss system and the array fully up and ready to go. Now, I did run into some problems with the Renogy array. The packaging that they sent it in, you saw the pictures and the video of the coffin type delivery and the crate that they sent it in. I spoke with Renogy. I may have mentioned it in a, in a video previously, but if not, for anybody new to the channel, uh, the product was defective. Um, I spoke with Renogy customer service. They were awesome. I have to give big thumbs up uh, to Malia, a customer service rep at Renogy, who was a big help and explained to me that it was manufactured overseas and that they had had some uh, problems with the manufacturer and they offered me a full refund on the solar array that I had purchased from them which was really cool and literally within 24 hours they had credited my account uh, for the well over $200 nearly 250 bucks for the array and I got to keep the array so I've got to do some engineering on the array this weekend so a couple of the things that I purchased um, through Amazon uh, to help me out that I didn't already have was a Dremel tool and some other gadgets to uh, modify the mounting brackets that slide into the rails. So when we get down to the ranch, we'll get into that, we'll do some unboxing of my new Dremel tool and um, get started on actually mounting the panels. Now let's speak to the panels real quick. In the other videos I had originally purchased and were using for the solar um, powered aeration system two 100 watt panels that I purchased from Windy Nation. These panels are uh, awesome. They're, they're poly, uh, not mono, and we can get into that later. But they, they work fine, but I had mounted them on some uh, two by four wooden frame structures and they served me well for well over a year. But they're 26 inches wide and as I began to try to repurpose those Windy Nation panels onto the Renogy solar array mounting bracket, I ran into a problem with size. Um, so they were 26 inches wide. Renogy's uh, mono panels are 21 inches wide. So I thought, you know what? They were so good to me with the customer service and the way they assisted with uh, refunding me the, the purchase price of the system itself, I thought, you know, that deserves my business even more. So I broke down and I purchased four 100 watt mono uh, panels from Renogy. They were delivered, that's what my foot's on here. And we're going to head down to the Alibi, unbox them and get them mounted. And hopefully this weekend will be the finishing touches on my new 400 watt solar panel array, all powered by Renogy. So thanks to the guys at Renogy, and I'll be back when we arrive at the Alibi, and um, we'll see how it goes.
something else I thought I'd give you guys a preview of as the cabin build continues, hopefully in the next couple of days. All of these maple cabinets that I'm storing in my garage, a friend of my sister's was remodeling her kitchen and she was gonna throw these out and they're 100% maple and I've got tons of them. There's actually, I think, 22 maple cabinets, really nice fronts, uh, chalkboard on some, and these are all gonna be inside the cabin. And then this table that's here, that's actually the breakfast room table that I grew up with in 1967. My mom and dad bought this table in 1958 my mother had it in storage in their barn and asked if I wanted it and I'm going to refinish it, sand it down and that's going to be the table that goes into the cabin. So just a little preview of what's to come for the kitchen and the cabin, all these great maple cabinets and then I'm going to restain uh, this table in a maple stain to match. So pretty cool, very excited. Well ahead of uh, where I need to be at this point already talking kitchen cabinets when I don't even have the walls up. But I thought I'd give you a little preview of that. I'll see you when we get to the alibi.